Hiya, let's get started. I'd like to mention that if you need any help or have any questions about our recipes, please comment us in the description below. Everything is in the description. The recipe, the ingredients, is all in the description. Right now I have a marinade that was soaking with my meat for overnight. I strained it and I'm going to start browning this meat. Okay, now I drain my marinade and I'm saving it right now. We'll get to use that later. And I'll tell you what about that later. But right now I'm going to take a little at a time. You can use peanut oil or any kind of oil that you want. And I'm going to do brown, start browning my meat. Don't do too much at one time because you'll get too much steam. Let's brown this up and I'll show you how it's going to go. Okay, as you can see, we're back to oil again. No more steam. So that's brown enough. I'm put that aside. You can't crowd the pan because you end up steaming it. Okay, we're going to add some more now for this. We'll do it in batches. Good. Okay, here's our last batch of meat, browned up. You see it's all dry in the bottom. We take that out, put it on the side here. And all that browning is going to taste great. Now we take our beef stock and we throw it in here. We take our cup and a half of marinade and throw that in here. We mix that all up. And just when we heat that up a little bit, then we're going to put our meat back in here and simmer it for a good hour till the meat is tender. It's all according to what kind of meat you're using, how long it takes to. Okay, now we have our meat. And we had that heated up a little, our marinade and the beef stock. And we're putting our meat back in it. And we're going to heat that up and just get it to a simmer and give it about an hour. And until the meat is tender, you taste it until it's tender. So we're going to time this. We'll see you in a little while. Okay, it's been about an hour and our meat is nice and tender. And here, here, as you can see. And in this pot, we have our rice boiling. Because we're going to put this over rice. And right now, what I got here is like three quarters of a cup of beef stock or water. And a half a cup of cornstarch that I'm adding to this. And this is our thickening agent. And this is going to make this real nice. And you just stir this until it thickens up. And I'll show you how that looks in a few minutes. Okay, we've added our cornstarch and liquid. And you can see it's a nice thick gravy. And it's good. And prior to this, I had cooked, what do you call it, two packages of frozen broccoli and cooled them down right away. And I'm going to throw that in there and heat it up a little bit.
piece of stuff. And as you can see, now this is enough for four people, more than enough. We're gonna have this over rice, and I'll show you that in a minute. You just heat this broccoli up a little bit. And if you think it's a little too thick, you can always add a little beef stock or water. And that's it. Let's heat this up. And we're kind of done right now. Here we go. We're done. It's almost as good as Chinatown. Sprinkle a couple of noodles on top. And you're all set. I want to remind you, if you have any questions or comments, please use our comment section in the description. And take a look at our new art, artwork up on the wall. That's from my grandson. Cooking with Grandpa. They're great.